Hi there, hope you're all okay. We're just chilling in the sun here. We're uh, going to do a video out here, but we've got a helicopter keeps going over our head. We had nothing, it's been quite quiet. We had people playing outside here. But, um, as soon as we bring the camera out and do a video, somebody decides to fly a helicopter out here, as you can hear. Right, well, I've brought the box outside and I've also got the things from the playroom that I use as well to have a look at. Um, we'll go through these first and, and see what we've got. Okay, first of all, we've got this little piece of edging and I think I found that at the, uh, the lighthouse one. I can't think, can't think where that was, the lighthouse. Hey, hey lighthouse was it? Something like that. Okay, that's a, a little bit of rope edging of some sort of um, edging tile and on top of there there's just a few pieces of glass that one has got some sort of lettering on it that must be why I've kept it so and a bit of red oh, I don't, I'm not quite sure what that is a bit, of, a bit of glass quite clear and a bit of blue so just a few pieces of glass there that are just uh, floating about on the top. Right, let's open it and have a look. Right, let's see what we've got. Lots of dough rising bowl. If you remember, I did pick up every single one that I had when I first started uh, mud larking, but we can, yeah, I can use that one actually, keep that one out. Oh, and the gun. Do you remember that old gun that I found? That one, that was the old piece of pottery, wasn't it? Is it post medieval because the middle bit isn't cooked as much as the outer bit? That's why it's grey. So I think that's probably my oldest piece. More of that, lots more of that. Let's see. Right, handles. Right, well, we keep the handles, can't we? Keep the handles to one side because I'm going to put that in the frame. Can't have that frame. If you watched last week, you'd have seen the frame that I did. There's another handle. So let's keep looking what else we've got here. Oh, it's a tile. It's a tile, that isn't it? Okay, what else have we got in here? Oh, that insulator, or what I believe is an insulator. We can use that on something as well, can't we? What else is that? Yeah, there's another gnarly bit of insulator i think at one point i just picked up everything didn't i, I think these are just the ones that i originally first got that would have been a nice big bowl let's have a look oh and look this is look a bit more exciting let's have a look at these right and here we've got a mixture of quite a few things we've got a, a little metal buckle there Another sort of, what sort of buckles are that? That's a strange buckle, but yep, yeah, a buckle nonetheless. I don't know what that is. Some metal backing of something. Don't know. Not quite sure what that is. Lots of metal buttons that I found, a bit rusty. 
with quite a few like that one and that one don't know why it would have something like that on it it's got like a little ring on it yep. what's that one? Oh, I don't know what that is that's a little metal find this is a bag of all sorts this I think isn't it a wooden little wooden button and these rubber buttons I don't know what they were off wooden, wooden buttons a rubber button sorry all sorts of different ones what's this one okay well I read that one and it says water lane it says water and lane and WLB in the middle so I've no idea what that is there's one with a bit of writing on all sorts of rusty metal ones a few colourful ones I don't know what that is, that's some sort of wheel off something isn't it, some sort of plastic wheel and there's a, a rusty metal one Now we've got these out, let's have a little bit of a sort through them. See what we've got. Let's try and move my shadow. That's difficult to see. One second, my shadow's right there. I'll have to do it from this side, okay? Right, so let's have a little bit of a sort out of these then. Let's see what we've got. Well, the handles we can keep to one side, can't we? Put those in the frame. Any more? That has got a handle on it, I suppose. I suppose that technically is a handle. So I'll stick those there. What else have we got? Got something with some words on. I think if you remember when I found that, I thought it was maybe part of a toilet, but I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't quite figure out what that was, but I like that. Sorry for the shadow there. Have a more dough bowl. Stick those there. What have we got? Right, let's try and sort these out somehow. Metal. Oh, well, that's actually what I got when I went metal detecting. Like a little brass um, door catch. It's actually probably the only thing I got when I went metal detecting. Metal detecting's alright, it's just, it's not like mudlarking. You have to wait a long time before you find something. Whereas mudlarking, you're sort of looking and scouring and finding all the time. So anyway, yeah, that was my metal detecting find. More dough bowl, which actually I'm going to use those in fact I'm going to get some things together and I'm going to make something so right just watch a clip now and come back to me in a bit okay we're on this new part today let's see if we can see anything on these stones oh, what's that what is that That doesn't feel very thick though. That's got lettering on. Limited, yeah. It's not very thick, I think we'll leave that there. Let's keep looking. It's glass, but it's quite new, look. You can tell it's new because of all the little dimple things around the edge to stop the glass from um, slipping. Okay, keep that there. Don't need that. Yeah, Coke bottle there. Kind of... Yeah, Coke bottle there. I'm out of the mud there, I'm sick of it there. How old it is, I don't know, they still do the uh, embossing on the coats. Sure. I'll give that to Sarah. And she can do what she wishes for that. Yeah, I don't know how old I knew that is, I don't know, they still do the embossing on the strong of that. Looks like a tile. Oh, she's 
so muddy. Yeah, it's just a terracotta tile, isn't it? So muddy. There's no water here to clean it, so I think we might just leave that there. Continue our search. Oop, that was a bit muddy. Well, I've seen quite a few of these tiles on here. There's one there, there's one over there. If you're looking for a couple of replacement tiles for your kitchen floor, this might be the place to come. Okay, let's keep looking, try not to get stuck in the mud. Thing. What's that? It's metal. Oops, I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was off screen. Metal. That might clean up okay, might be able to use that for something in a picture. Yeah, we'll keep that one. Our first keepable find today. Whatever it is. And if you know what it is, just let me know. Okay, put that one in the bag. Let's keep looking. I think I've found the found some. I don't know. I'm gonna check, see what it is. Let's see what this is. It's stuck, whatever it is. There we go. There we go. Let's give it up. We'll have a look. It's one of them bottle stopper things. It's very muddy. I know Sarah likes these things, so best to keep this. We've got a bit of glass on the end of it.
Hi there, hope you're all okay. We're just chilling in the sun here. We're uh, going to do a video out here, but we've got a helicopter keeps going over our head. We had nothing, it's been quite quiet. We had people playing outside here. But, um, as soon as we bring the camera out and do a video, somebody decides to fly a helicopter out here. As you can hear. Anyway, so we bought one of these and we're going to show you how to work it. But we're going to do it indoors because there's uh, too much noise out here. And we're going to let Sarah do it. Uh, we've already had a go doing it and um, come out okay. So I'm going to let Sarah do it and I'm going to do the filming. And get yourself one. If you want to kill a bit of time, do a video. Show us how yours come out. You can get these on Amazon. Uh, you'll see the boxes. Get the nail off the box and am Amazon it. You'll find it. Again, okay, let's uh, cut a bottle. So here we are in the kitchen, and uh, no, this is not where what we're here for. Something we made this morning. If you want to, if you're interested in the video and you want to know how to make some of these, let us know. And we'll do a video. This is what we're here for: the uh, bottle cutting kit. And Sarah's going to show you what's inside there. So uh, hand drill is uh, here. Okay. Oh, that's for. Um Doing the strip on a bottle, you know the plastic bottles. You do a strip like to make ties for oh, your plants. Ties, yeah. You've got like a little counter thing so you can measure how big you want the strips to be. And you pull it and it makes the strip. Uh, okay. That's that. Instructions. You don't need instructions, do we? Don't read them. Uh, instructions on DVD. There's a music. A music. <laughs> right, we've got some of that. So this is the cutting machine itself. It comes with string. We're not going to be using the string. Yeah, right. yeah, we've got the bands, two different sizes. Um, they go either side of the score, score line. Okay, we'll show you how to use yep. that in a little while. Um, spare blade thing. And that's it. Yeah, spare blade, yeah. And spare wheel. Nice. That's all in the box. Mm -hmm. And to, I think you adjust it. Uh, this is what cuts the bottle. Adjusting. Is here, whatever size, and have we selected a bottle for cutting? Uh, yeah, so that's one that you did. Okay, that's um, one that we've done already. Yeah, yeah, that's, oh, sorry. that's one that you've done. It just needs one final sanding on the top so it's usable, yeah. um, cleaned and sterilized. It can be used as a little beaker. Yeah, they're quite good. I find it hard to get this machine to cut around the writing. So, if you're cutting anything like that and you go around the writing, it might be worth on the grinder for that. Mm -hmm. that. So I don't think it's great for that. Right, we've got this one. I've chosen this one because it's a thinner one for me to try. It's gnarly at the top, so it's broken. So I thought I could cut it maybe along that line there. Okay then, so we'll, uh, let's get it set up and we'll yeah. back. Right, we've taken everything out of the box. You've lined it all up. We've adjusted the adjusters to the back of the bottle there. It's got a little stud bit there to keep it straight. The cutter's here, so we need to push down harder than the bottle and turn it. And just as long as it's kept down harder than the bottle, then them two wheels there will keep it dead straight. So you ready for that? Oh, I think so. Okay then. Right. Push down hard and then start turning. Make sure it stays at the back, keep turning. One score will do, but we're going to go a few times to do it on the stage side. Well, I think that'll do it now. I think that I should do yeah. that section of it. And that's all there is to it. Once you've done that, you scarred or scored, scored, scored the bottle. Uh, and um, well, now we're going to use like a, a cold and heat method. Of just snapping it. So, like your window screen, if you put a uh, cold water on a hot water on a frozen window screen, it'll cause it to crack. We're going to use that same method with this. But we need to use these rubber bands to make sure the hot water stays in. So, we're going to put the bands in place to. Right. Uh, 
band either side of the score mark. Same with the next piece. So if you're sitting at home and you've got some bottles you want to, and you're thinking about cutting, just get yourself on Amazon and pick up one of these kits here. I think we paid about 24, 25 pounds or something, but yeah. right, what we're doing now is we're just running cold water on it. We're just running some cold water to really make the bottle go as cold as possible, really. And then we're going to stop there and then we're just going to trickle some hot water right inside that little groove there. And while turning it, you hear it cracking there, so it wants to go. And then we'll go back into the uh, hot water again, cold water again, sorry. And gradually moving it back and forth, you can hear it cracking, I don't know if you can hear it on there. You can hear it cracking, you can actually see a line appearing as it's doing it. As you're going around, it looks a larger bit as you've got a crack on it, and then it goes like there, and then come back under the hole towards that bit there. And that might be there, but let's see, put it back under the cold again. And I'll try pulling that edge off, see if it comes off. Yeah. No? No. Okay. okay. Back under the hot water again. You can see the crack going through it. Oh, sorry about that, water steamed up a bit, go and put it under the old water, and it should just come off, just give it a force. There you go, it's gone. There's a little bit there, it's just missed a bit there. That's, that's not a problem, we can tie it up with the, the uh, nibblers. The nibblers we can tie it out with. But that does happen, even kind of any glass windows and all sorts of things, that, that can happen because there's a blemish in the glass somewhere. That's how easy it is, it's just using the old hot and cold. Now, you'd normally, if you didn't want to use that, you'd use string. That's what strings for, you put a string around there. And what some people do is they put the string around there, around that glass, and then they pour the hot water on the string, and then cold, hot water, cold, just onto the string, and that string will cut straight through there, that, with that, without even using the cutter. That's another method. Anyway, that's how you do that. We're going to tidy that up, and we'll get back to you in a short while. Yep. You just take your time, and rub it down like that. Don't rush it, take your time. Uh, have a nice little finish. We're using sandpaper here, but you could use emery cloth, which I think is a bit better, probably. But we haven't got none at the moment. Anyway, that's how we cut our bottle. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, give it a go if you want to give it a go. Uh, you can get a kit on Amazon. You see what the box looks like. We don't have a link for it. We can put a link up, but. Just type in, cut bottle cutter, you'll find it. Or give it a go with a bit of string. Just tie a bit of string around your bottle and just use hot and cold water. Cold water first and hot water and the string cut through the shit. Give it a go. Anyway, so we're going to go now. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you're interested to see these scones being made, give us a shout. We mm. can show you how we make our scones. They taste gorgeous. Yeah, all well, lovely. Um, so we're going to go now. Uh, so it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.